This is the Gab with the Guru's uh, two-question interview. My guest is uh, David Faber, and we are at the 17th Annual New York Press Club Foundation Journalism Conference. So, David, tell us about your new book. Well, my book is called And Then the Roof Caved In. It's been out for about three or four months. It was based on a documentary called House of Cards that I did for CNBC, uh, and it is essentially the story of how the economy and the financial system almost collapsed, uh, tracing it back to right after 9-11 and all of the events in the housing market and on Wall Street that contributed to that collapse. There's a lot in here, I think, that will help people understand how we got where we got uh, in a way that they'll find engaging and not difficult to, uh, to sort of digest. What will most surprise or shock readers about your book? I think people will be most shocked by the lack of understanding amongst our regulators and the people who ran many Wall Street firms in understanding the risk that they were taking on and in understanding how connected they were to a simple idea. The idea being that housing prices could go down. In all of the interviews I did, from Alan Greenspan to you name it, very few people ultimately ever expected that housing prices, now down over 30%, would ever decline. And that was the basis for so much that went on, on Wall Street and in America, that belief that they would never go down. So I guess, in many ways, that's probably the one singular thing that people will be most surprised about. The inability of our leaders, in all ways, to appreciate the risk they were taking. Wow. Well, thank you very much, David. You're welcome. Thank you.